Hi guys, welcome back to part two of my hoarding problem haul. Last time you guys saw that I left off with the Anastasia liquid lipsticks and you guys obviously saw what was left in my little box. So I am going to roll through these products and hopefully we get this done in a shorter time than last. First thing I have here is the Marc Jacobs yeah. highlighter. It is in the shade Black Core. Um, this is my favorite eyeliner to tight line and put on my waterline. It is just really, really pigmented, super creamy, and it stays on all day. I do have like watery eyes, so a lot of my eyeliners don't really tend to stay on as long, but this stays on like a dream this next item here is the anastasia matte lipstick in the shade rosewood and it's just a really pretty cranberry red color let's swatch it for you i've never tried any of their um bullet lipsticks so hopefully i like the formula it doesn't smell like anything Oh, it's really pretty. It's like a mauve berry and it's super creamy. So that is what the color looks like. Up next is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold Retro. And let's swatch it. I'm super excited. This color looks really pretty just looking at the package. Oh, that is gorgeous. So it's like a rose gold with like gold glitter reflexes in it. That's what the color looks like. It's super gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this out. This right here is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in Hawthorne. Hawkwind. Hawkwind, not Hawthorne. Um, it, I don't even know what color this is. Let's open it up. I don't even know how to describe this color. But this is what the tube looks like. It's super cool looking. And it's like a... Oh, it's super creamy. It smells good. It smells like vanilla, kind of. It smells really, really good. But here is a swatch of that one. It's like a mauve warm toned brown. Then I have here the Wander Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. You guys saw this in one of my BoxyCharm unboxings. I said I don't like the tube, but I'm just going to open it and see what the wand looks like. Hopefully I like the wand. Okay, the wand is not that bad. I do need to use it, start using a new mascara, so we'll start with this one. There is the Bang Beauty Gel Eyeliner. This is a brown gel eyeliner. Like I said, I'm not really into brown or other colored eyeliners. I stick with my blacks and my nudes. But this is what the product looks like. Um, I guess I could use this for maybe eyebrow. Like a gel pomade. It might work. I don't know. We will see. <laughs> And here is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick that I got from BoxyCharm as well. This is in the shade Bow and Arrow and it's just a really, really pretty light nude brown color. And I love Kat Von D's um, formula. It's, uh, her formula is just perfect. So here is a swatch of Bow and Arrow. Another BoxyCharm item is the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. I'm just going to pass this down because honestly, I don't think I'm going to use it. The um, pomade in here just doesn't look like my shade. It seems a little bit too light. I like my brows like in between a dark brown and a black, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, let's move along. This is a Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick that I got again from BoxyCharm and it is again another nude lipstick and this is what it looks like. It's like a terracotta nude. Yeah, that's pretty. So here's a swatch of that one right here. Then here is the Too Faced Hangover RX 
what is this? Uh, face primer. I've never tried this primer before and I've heard a lot of good things about it. So can't wait to use it and it's just a travel size. Next is the Note Luminous Silk Compact Blusher that I got from BoxyCharm. It is in the shade 05 Desert Rose. I absolutely love how sleek and compact this packaging is. It's just really, really classic black. <laughs> and this is what the blush looks like. Let's do a little swatch of this. It's really, really creamy. Oh, that's a pretty color. So this is a color, a swatch of the blush. And this right here is the Alta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil and Cranberry and Pomegranate. It's just this really sheer pinky red shade. And it doesn't smell bad. I'm not a huge fan of um, pomegranate scented things. It just brings back bad memories that I'm not gonna go in details with, but it doesn't smell bad, but you can't really see. I kind of swatched it right there. It's just a really sheer kind of lip oil gloss. Then from BoxyCharm, this is the Beauty Creations Matte Lip Gloss in the shade Sweetheart. This is what the color looks like. Just a natural pinky nude shade. Kind of reminds me of, um, I believe it's Posy K by uh, Kylie Jenner. There's a swatch of that one. Up next is the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. And then I have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is my holy grail favorite mascara. It's just me stocking up on it. Then here I have a mini Farsali Unicorn Essence little serum primer thing. Um, I've seen this all over social media, Instagram, and I decided to just get the small one to see if I would like it or not, and then maybe upgrade to a full size. This next item here is the Tarte Tardis Pro Glow Highlighter. Um, it is in the shade Exposed. So I have it swatched right there. I don't know if you can really see it. You can kind of see it in the lighting. Not really, but it's just a really pretty liquid highlighter. Then this right here is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I forgot who it was that I was talking about. I think it was Madison Miller. And she said that this color is amazing. So, let's see. So this is what it looks like in the tube. It's just a really pretty gold glittery eyeliner. And I have that swatched right here. Then here is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Dim Infusion. This is what the blush looks like. It's just a really pretty pink nude blush. You can't really see it, but it just kind of gives a nice wash of um, color to your face. So there's a swatch of that right there. You can't barely see it. Let me turn it down a little bit. There you go. So there's a swatch of that. I can't really see it on my skin, but I'm going to tell you guys right now. It's Super beautiful once you have it on to your cheeks. This right here is the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. Um, I've just been stocking up on a lot of bronzers because I literally use the same bronzer every day. So I needed something new. Spice up my life a little bit. And this is what it looks like in the pan. Just like any other bronzer. Right there. It's just a nice warm bronzer. And there is this swatch of that. This next item is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. I believe this is like the medium shade, so to say. And I love their new packaging. It is super duper duper cute. This packaging looks way better than the old one. 
And here is this one right here. I am not going to swatch it because I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen what the chocolate sole looks like. And it smells so good. Oh my goodness. So we only have five more products to go through. Um, this next one right here is the MAC Holiday Collection highlighter in Oh Darling. I know Oh Darling isn't like their holiday collection, but it's just the packaging that makes it the holiday collection. So first off, the packaging of this is super duper cute. And then this is what it looks like. And here it's... Um, anyways, I'm going to be super careful now. So this is what it looks like when it's in the pan and I've never swatched Oh Darling before so oh that's gorgeous we're gonna have to be really careful with this so this is what it looks like let's swatch that right here you see that oh that is so pretty I cannot wait to try it this next product right here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush trio in peachy love so it has three different colored blushes on there let's open it up and swatch the three blushes so this is what the blushes look like this one here is Miami ginger and nectarine so I'm just gonna do one two three nectarine right here which is the more orangey one it kind of has little flecks of um, gold glitter in it which is really really pretty so here are what the three blushes look like. They are right up my alley, super peachy, super pretty. I love these colors. Can't wait to put this little blush trio to use. Then I have here the Aurora Anastasia Glow Kit. And this is what the palette looks like. I've already swatched this one. And I don't remember how I feel about them so here are the swatches of the highlighters they're really pretty and iridescent um they're not really everyday wear highlighters but like I'd say the first two right here and this one is more wearable than the other ones but can't wait to play with this do some crazy cool looks with these you can even probably use these as eyeshadow just a thought this right here is the Anastasia Contour Kit in light to medium. I've never tried their contour kits before, so hopefully I like this. Um, I've heard great things about it. So we shall see how I feel about this. All right, guys, we finally made it. The last item of my box. This is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. This one is in the shade Golden Sands Edition. So I believe it comes with one um, cream highlight and then the blush and bronzer. This one right here I believe is the cream highlight and then this one's the powder highlight. This one right here is Fiji. Yeah, that's the cream. So that's what Fiji looks like. I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's like there you go really really pretty and then the powder one is Seychelles Seychelles I don't know how to pronounce it there's that one right there here's a swatch of that the bronzer is Tahiti So there is the bronzer right there. If you are darker tone, you can even pass this off as a highlighter. And then the blush right here is Zanzibar. The blush is just a really pretty iridescent blush. It has like golden undertones to it. Super pretty. So that is everything that I have for this little um, problem I have. I hope you guys really like these videos. If you do, I will make sure to do a lot more of these um let me know down in the comments what other videos you guys would like to see and i will definitely do them sorry about the background chaos my kids are wild right now and yeah i will see you guys in my next video Bye.